this is Angela Murata at Amazing Kids AAC Consulting. Well, there is a downside <laughs> to the 1.36 update for TD Snap. I got so excited because they added the option for regular non-keyboard buttons to have recorded audio and have them added to the message window like this. We. Okay. I. Do. It. Wee! I do it. And it maintained that recording. Well, the downside of that, let me go over into my dashboard and I'm gonna go over to Motor Plan 30 and the Phonics keyboard. So the downside is, well, I'll just show you. Okay, so that one still worked correctly. The K. A. T. So, yeah. So now, basically, what's exciting on one hand broke the ability to have a phonics keyboard. And it's not just this keyboard. I've downloaded numerous phonics keyboards this morning, and they all are having the same issue. So, the same thing that allowed us to have regular non keyboard buttons have recorded audio and be added to the message window, which is fantastic, now has broken the ability to have a phonics keyboard. Toby Dynavox, I sure hope that there's a way to have both, because we really want, we love the flexibility of this app, so I really would like a way to also still do this. And this is on 1.36, the most current version. So for those who aren't familiar with what it used to do before, I happen to still have an iPad. This is why it's good to not automatically have automatic updates toggled on. I still had an older iPad that has the previous version, 1.35.1, right? And here's what it did on the phonics keyboard. So, just as a comparison, I hope that they're able to figure it out and offer both. 